Hey, what's up? It's Kellen Rowland, president of the Network Agency. We're here at Agenda Long Beach, day one. Um, show has grown a tremendous amount from back when it was in a Thai restaurant years ago to the San Diego concourse to the move over to the Hyatt Regency and the Huntington Beach and now it's really grown into this amazing action sports and streetwear trade show with the best of uh, each demographic and each brand. I'm here because I'm with the network agency and we're a multi-line showroom. We represent brands like Herschel Supply Co., Imaginary Foundation, Iron and Resin, Sony Headphones, Primitive, and Tits Brand. And you know, our goal is to do the best we can for our brands and grow them and get them into the best retailers in the U.S. and make sure that each season, you know, their brand is in the best stores and we're out there visiting and building collaborations and special projects and just growing as much as we can, so. You know, as far as like action sports and streetwear, you know, streetwear started off as this really small, special thing, you know, as a limited product that, you know, you can only get in a handful of stores across the world. Um, and then that kind of evolved into something that was a little bit more mainstream and you saw streetwear stores opening up throughout the US and throughout the world. And, you know, the goal was to have something that was a little bit more limited. You know, there was a lot of interplay between sneakers, you know, graphic t-shirts, and it was a way for people to really ex self-explore and you know express themselves by you know doing something that was a little edgier and something that you couldn't really find everywhere else and, and concurrently with that you know the action sports scene was growing from you know what was also another way to express yourself was through skateboarding you know riding bikes you know snowboarding you know any kind of various activities that weren't considered mainstream and now in the past few years the action sports industry has kind of gone mainstream like you'll watch the NBA playoffs and you'll see a Nike commercial and it'll be Danny Cass and Paul Rodriguez. Six years ago, you would never see that. So it's this really cool thing how you see these small niche markets kind of explode into these mainstream events where, you know, kids from all over the country are getting introduced to action sports and skateboarding through shows like Agenda, through websites like The Barracks, and then, you know, with streetwear, you know, we're fortunate to have sites like Hype Beast and High Snobiety where they're kind of pushing out the most forward in it best collaborations, the best special projects, the hardest to get brands and educating people in um it's really interesting how with the internet it's kind of allowed this kind of migration of information to happen very rapidly whereas you know years ago things would happen on the coast you know something would happen in New York it would happen in Los Angeles and it would take time to make it into the Midwest you know to like get to Chicago now with the advent of the internet Twitter and Facebook it's like a trend can be here in LA and then boom in Idaho in literally one click and it's caused this kind of explosion of this market to become mainstream because the information is so accessible. Um, it's really cool, but it's also putting challenges on the industry because now trends are coming and going a lot faster. So it's putting pressure on brands and for designers and marketers and just overall stores to be better and be better faster because things aren't staying as cool as long because it's so much easier to find out whereas you know you there used to be the guy that was a little bit of a trendsetter at his school and he would wear brands that only he could find out about but now with the internet you know it's a lot harder to keep your favorite brand kind of a secret so it's caused the action sports in the streetwear market to change, but it's a beautiful thing because it's growing. And you know, these brands that were at one time small brands are becoming household names. And a lot of that has to do with shows like Agenda, who were really catering to the small independent brands years ago. And have now given these brands, you know, an amazing venue to really showcase their product. You know, you can come here with a small brand that, you know, 25 t-shirts and a couple hats and have your brand sit along behemoth brands like Volca. I mean, before you couldn't really do that and Agenda's been this really special thing that has allowed this whole industry to grow and kind of incubate and it's really a special thing and, you know, I'm happy to be here and, you know, I'm excited to be a part of this and to see this industry grow and I'm really excited to see what Agenda does next. Um, so stay tuned for that. This is uh, Kellen from the Network Agency and that's all I got for you. Thank you.